everyone. As promised, I am back with my next video in my 52 weeks illustration challenge. Um, so this one I already spoke about in the earlier video for the map challenge for the prompt. <laughs> this was really a challenge. Um, everything with this piece just seemed to go wrong. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was just a bad, bad day yesterday. I started to get frustrated with it and it got so bad that I, I just had to, when it was all over, I had to step away from the project. I couldn't even sit down to even try to edit the video. I was so disappointed and frustrated with how it had come out in the end that I just left it. And that's really unusual for me because I'm, I'm usually kind of eager to want to jump onto the editing and uh, well, ideas are still fresh in my head about what I'd like to comment on. But with this one, I just, I didn't even, I didn't want to say anything about it. I was not at all pleased with what happened. Now, as I'd already said on the map video, which you guys have most likely now viewed earlier today, um, I liked the sketch of this one so much more than the one I did for the map. I thought this was so much cuter and this is for the prompt for Eerie. And I thought, oh, it's, it's two little girls that can be sisters or friends, whatever the case, uh, but they're in some kind of cave. Um, maybe looking for their puppy that ran off ahead of them or something, but it's, it's just meant to give off a bit of an eerie feeling. You know, it's dark, it's dank, and uh, they, they can't see what's ahead. And, you know, you can kind of make up your own story why they're in there. But in my head, they, they went looking for their pet. Oh, look, here's Boogie. <laughs> Boogie's always curious about what I'm doing. And he often sits, as you can see a shadow there on the left, he'll just sit and watch me paint. Sometimes try and stick his nose in it. Anyway, so that was a tangent, sorry. <laughs> oh, Boogie, I love him so much. But anyway, so yeah, so I love the idea for the story. Maybe they're going to look for Boogie because Boogie's adventurous, so there. Boogie's now part of the story. But um, yeah, so I really love the sketch. I did the transfer onto the watercolor paper. Now this watercolor paper is my old standby. I have used this many times in the past and I've never had issues. But with this one, for the first time ever, I experienced bleeding into white zones that were not wet, by the way. So it was the skin tone, which in the past has never bled into anything else. And you'll see as we come up onto it, the skin tone just bled into all the white parts, into the eyes and into the lining of the beanies on the girls. And I just, I just was at that point so frustrated. I mean, first of all, the, the cave wasn't turning out the way I was hoping. I just, I guess I had run out of energy after doing the map first. I shouldn't have done them back to back, even though I took a bit of a break in between to eat and relax. I just wasn't feeling as motivated as I had with map, with a map prompt. And um, I just didn't like how it came out in here, especially I, I didn't plan their colors at all. and. I was picking them on the fly because it worked with the map prompt. So I thought, hey, let's try it again. But I guess you really can't push your luck. And in this case, I really did push my luck. And um, so it just, it wasn't working. I wasn't happy with their uh, clothes, my, my, you know, choice in colors for their clothing articles. Um, I, I don't dislike it, but it's also not the best. And me and color theory, we're not great friends. I really should you know, learn the color wheel better and, you know, complementary colors or analogous colors and so on. I need to take the time to sit down and do that. That will actually really help my compositions a lot once I understand color theory and what works and what doesn't. Um, but here I was kind of just picking very bright colors and I ended up disliking it because it looks like Christmas colors and that's not at all what's meant to be portrayed here. It's supposed to be eerie. And then halfway through, I think it was around about this point, I realized I should have done it with ink. I should have done it, you know, black and gray. That would have been eerie. Uh, this is now far too colorful, far too bright for the prompt of eerie. Even though the mood is right, the colors kind of make it too cheerful. So I'd say that I failed this one, but it's not a bad illustration, but I'm not sure if I'd want to revisit it. Maybe I will for Inktober maybe? redo? I'm not sure yet. 
but um, yeah, I zoomed in here a little bit closer so you guys could see the details up close. Um, they're supposed to be crouching, so if the body shape looks a bit odd, don't mind. Just, you know, use your imagination to fill in where parts should be. Um, but like I said, I really, I liked the initial drawing a lot in my sketchbook, which is almost always the case, is that I like the, the sketch a lot, and um, then the piece turns out terrible. <laughs> I don't know why that is, it was, you know, or not terrible, or just not the way that I was hoping as, um, like with the first surprise kitten card that I did um, for somebody for their birthday, it just didn't turn out as cute as it had in my sketchbook because the color choices were wrong. So, you know, that's my bad. I need to actually take the time to stop and, you know, study color theory. Um, it applied to art school. Uh, in the early part of this year, but I unfortunately didn't get in. They had too many applicants and I think I'm far too old for them anyway, being, you know, 31. They're looking for young, you know, fresh out of high school types uh, because it was for a bachelor's degree and um, I already have my master's degree here from the local university. So they, I understand fully that they would rather give somebody else who has no degree a chance rather than somebody who has both their bachelor's and master's degree already. So no harm, no foul, but I was kind of disappointed because, you know, there I would definitely have been interested in their classes on color theory and painting and drawing and so on. But anyway, life goes on. There's always self-study and of course there is Skillshare. Thank goodness for Skillshare. Not only do I teach classes on there, but I also take the classes, so this is not sponsored by them, by the way. Uh, this is just my own opinion. I really do love uh, the classes that you can take on there and, um, of course, teaching my own. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of an intuitive artist, so I just go with what feels right. And about 80% of the time, it's it works out, you know. And then there are occasions like this where just a lot can go wrong and... A lot of it was also because of my poor planning and rushing into it to try and get it done because, like I said, the queue was just backing up and I just wanted to get it out there rather than giving it a bit more thought like I normally would. So, you know, live and learn kind of situation again. But, yeah, I just, with the next prompt, I had it sketched out and I already have an idea in mind for how I'm going to do that one and I really like that one so I hope I won't mess it up. I have two ideas of how to do the next prompt, which is ice. Oh, here you can see. Look at that bleeding into the whites. Oh. And I just kind of had to troop her on and just keep keep going. The pause there is me hating my life because now her eyes are skin colored instead of pure white. I try to correct that at the end with the white gel pen, but I was just so frustrated that that happened at all. I don't know why my paper suddenly failed me and started to bleed. It's never done this before. But anyway, same happens on the little girl behind her, her sister, friend, whatever you want to call it. You can see there it's, it's bled in quite badly and into her hair and everything else. Oh, such a mess. That's so disappointing when that happens. And so I just decided, you know, I have so much footage already, just troop her on and just finish. And uh, that's basically what I did here. But for my next prompt, I'm still debating for ice, should I do it in inks, in black and gray, or should I do it in color? Um, I'm kind of on the fence, just because this was such a disaster. Um, but then again, the map turned out so well, so it's, it's something that I really need to think about and maybe plan, maybe do some swatch tests ahead of time because I have those sketches both in my sketchbook so I can just trace them onto a, another piece of paper and test and see which one I like best. Uh, I don't know how much time we'll actually have to do that though, so let's see if that actually happens. But now we are nearing the end of this piece here and uh, as you can see here, Another fun thing that happened during all of my frustration is that my normal camera that I film with died. Uh, batteries just completely ran out. Had lots of memory left, but the, the battery just quit. And it had to be charged and there was nothing left for it. So I had to switch to my regular phone camera, which came out this dark and grainy film. And I don't know why, it's it's just terrible. And I fiddled with the settings and nothing has changed. I, I really dislike the film quality of this camera, which is such a disappointment. But anyway, so just to finish it off, I, I had to do it. And um, 
Yeah, here you can see me adding the white details. And that, that was about it. So this was really a frustrating fail for me. But let's hope that tomorrow's prompt for ice goes better. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, you guys. And please check out the links below in the description. And I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, please leave comments, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much, you guys. And have a great weekend. See you later.